Good morning interwebs. It's just a little bit before noon and I'm up and I'm dressed and today I'm wearing the uh, the sweater dress that I made. I was watching Esmeralda's video last night and she was talking about it and I realized I don't wear it nearly enough because I feel like it's a little too fancy but I had nowhere to go today and so I was telling Steve there's no reason I can't be fancy at home. I don't necessarily feel like I should be fancy going out but I can be fancy at home so I am and they are putting up the tree in the uh, living room right now. Kids and I did phase two of the wreath project. We started cutting out, Tracy and cutting out some ornamenty shapes. And then Steve found me some, some lights for my office. So I put them up and I'm trying to decide whether I think that they are messy or magical. I kind of think I might end up with magical once it's dark. While the sun's still up, it's a little messy, but I just kind of need to make this one a little bit taller so that it doesn't go quite so near my head. But that has been a, uh, fun experience and then um, I'm gonna go and probably string some more lights in some of the other rooms of the house and then yeah we should be be done here pretty soon with kind of going through the boxes the the kids put out the chair covers that I had made when Steve and I were first married these uh the red and blue ones we've got the Christmas tunes going and then we got to find a home for Santa my mom made the Santa for me one year so he used to be up in our house when I still lived at home, and then it got to come and live with me when I moved out. So, maybe I'll go find Santa at home and uh, check in later. It's 12.20, and an update on the decorative things. So, these are the, the red lights in our kitchen. <laughs> and now I'll turn on the lights that you can see. Um, oh, but first, here's my office. And see, I, I think magical. Magical when it's dark. But it's it was a little messy looking today, but I do like it. Steve hung up my my shelf for me today, so I'm gonna get to start putting things on that and gotta figure out which thing I wanna hang on it, but I'll hang something from it. So that was exciting. And then let's see what else have we done today. Whew, let there be light, huh? So I did a bit more uh put out some more Christmas days. Okay, so there's a bunch of candles out because we started listening to our Advent stories. We're listening to two of them from an Advent, not in the religious sense, Advent just in the counting down to Christmas, but they call them Advent stories, even though they're secular, so I'm gonna go with it. So they are both through um, a story website called Sparkle Stories, sparklestories.com. And they're all original stories by this guy named David and they are wonderful and we love them. And they have multiple series of this family and these two kids named Martin and Sylvia, who we've been listening to since my daughter was probably like four. It's been like f almost five years, I think, that we've been listening to Martin and Sylvia stories. But we're doing the little advent calendar I made that they had to print out. It was like a two-sheet thing, and you put it together, and you just cut it out with an X-Acto knife. And then every day there's a little door which relates to the story. There's 25 stories in the set. So this is the Junkyard Tales one, and we're doing that. We're also listening to the Martin and Sylvia Advent story and doing things with that. Martin and Sylvia's story today involved, it's a story of their family finding like 25 like envelopes that lead to like treats and adventures throughout the Christmas getting ready season. So today's story was about waiting and their story ends with candlelight and pie. So I lit candles and we ate dinner by candlelight and I made sausage pot pie, which was delicious. So we did that and we cleared off the table and we're gonna make sure to eat at the table for the coming time because we're gonna listen to audiobooks during meals. So that is a good setup for that. And then what else was in here? I feel like there's some, oh, working my wreath. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this. I finished the wreath cover. I made a bow to go on it. And then we took the watercolor pictures I showed you yesterday, traced them all with cookie cutters, and made like holiday shapes. And then on the back of each one, we're just writing like a thing that we did. So we made the holiday wreath. So I wrote that down, and then we all took turns just pinning them on with some straight pins. So that is a thing. The tree's already unplugged, so I can't show you that, but I will show you that tomorrow. And Santa found himself a home! So he is hanging with a command strip on our uh, stair door. 
It's actually on the inside of the stair door, but the stair door is mostly open, so that's a better place for him. And then when we close it in the mornings, um, he'll just be sitting at the bottom of the stairs, I guess. It'll be a holly jolly way to come down the stairs. So that has been most of my day. I spent a ton of time. I lesson planned the heck out of December. I'm like ready for that. Which, if you are a homeschooling parent, you know that sometimes you get on like this roll of lesson planning and it's just like, you gotta jump on that feeling when it happens. I was inspired, I had good ideas. So, um, I'm always very open to rabbit trails and we follow a lot of them, which if you're not a homeschooler, rabbit trails are kind of the uh, like off book, things that you don't mean to be teaching or not intending to, but you just like follow the the delight led learning down weird avenues. They're the tangents that come up in conversation and you just follow those and keep finding learning opportunities off of those trails rather than trying to like come up with a path that you're gonna follow and then sticking to it. So you're following the rabbit trails instead of like the given map. And I'm always open to those and we follow those all the time, but I'm actually following them with purpose during the month of December. Like the plan is to take a very loose framework of things and find the rabbit trails rather than like having them just kind of show up on their own. I think that will be a good way to um, go through this time of year. Number one, our weather has been very strange. Um, ordinarily, I figure by now we can start to kind of tuck in and just like head down, do a little more work. It's not so nice outside but it is amazing outside. And so we need to embrace those opportunities when they are there and find the things we can do that embrace those. Plus I have all of these fun holiday ideas. And since I have kids that span an age gap between now four and almost nine, um, there's a lot of opportunities to do some more open-ended stuff that can accommodate all of their learning levels at once. So that is what we're doing, and I did a whole bunch of lesson planning and printing things out and just organizing myself. So that is good. Now I think tomorrow or the next day I need to organize my my work stuff, my Etsy shop stuff, and figure out how I'm going to do my crafting around all of the other things I have planned um, because I need to do that work, and I want to. I just need to plug everything in. So right now I'm trying to keep this cat happy. I don't know what her deal is because she has food. I don't, I don't know why, why, why cat, but, and I don't know when I became somebody who keeps showing her cat in her vlog, like, that's not really my thing, but she really wants to be in the vlog all the time, so, I don't know, anyways, I'm gonna go and work some more on my scrap stash blanket, which I've been doing a little work on while I upload the vlog, and then we will see what the rest of the night brings, and I'll let you know. Well, it is time for me to go to bed. I spent like over an hour cutting out manipulatives and things that I had previously printed out for like preschool, kindergarten age things that I have that we're going to use this month with my kids. And I also finished about a strip of my scrap stash blankets. So that was good. I uh, have some more ends and I get to start a new jar. So the jars up here... Um, they were empty, but then I just started putting things in October. I filled the first one, November is second, and so now I'm on to my third. So I figure I'll just do that. It's kind of an interesting, uh, motivational tool to get to see the ends that kind of fill it up. And I don't get ends unless I finish things. So that's incentive to finish things. And now I have incentive to go to bed. So I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.